Hello, everyone, and happy Fun Fold Friday. I have a family tradition to share with you today in our Fun Fold. Um, let me pull up the comments here and see who's with us this bright. Um, I take that back. It's not bright. It is very cloudy, overcast, and raining here in Texas. <laughs> um, anyways, oh my gosh, I can't believe it's Friday, you guys. It is so close. Um, I do a countdown to Christmas and uh, I put the number 16 on the calendar. Oh my gosh, 16 days to Christmas. Um, one more thing real quick, and I'm going to send out an email about this, but um, I am going to Disney <laughs> next week, um, and then I won't be back till Christmas. So uh, I will not be doing Facebook Lives Friday the 16th. So next Friday, we will not have a fun fold, nor will we have a fun fold on the Friday of Christmas. So I will be back for a fun fold on the 30th of December, the day before New Year's Eve. Okay, so I'll come back um, then and do a fun fold. So yeah, two weeks you won't get a fun fold with me, but that's okay because it's Christmas and we have so many things to do. So, <laughs> well, hello, someone from Germany. You are gonna love our thing today. I bet you made these as a kid. Maybe, maybe not, I don't know. Um, and let's see, I've got Shella and Georgina and Tony. Oh, Tony, you're so awesome. Thank you so much for sharing. Okay, let's also share your Christmas cards you're sending in. Oh my goodness. Uh, Y'all are the best. So this is from my team member, Maria. And here's her Christmas card. And she used our beautiful snowflake vellum paper. Oh my gosh, if y'all haven't seen that, it is so beautiful. And then she also on her blog, um, her YouTube channel, if you all don't follow her, it's Maria's Craft Room, I think. Anyways, um, she showed how to use her brother's uh, scan and cut. And after she stamped all her snowflakes, she had her big cutting machine cut them all out for her instead of running them one at a time through the uh, cut and emboss machine. Very genius. Uh, love that. So uh, go over there and check that out. Okay, so that's uh, for Maria. Thank you, Maria. And then this one is from, uh, and I never know how to say it. I want to say Luana. Luana, not sure, but thank you. Her beautiful Christmas card. And I love this. I haven't used that stamp in a long time. It's retired now, but I always felt it's a flurry. Um, it came with a snowflake set. Oh my gosh, it was one of my favorites. But um, and then this tree, look, it's embossed. Now, this is not stamping up, but that's okay. I don't care. It's still beautiful. And then she wrote me a sweet note um, on a sticky pad so that I can keep my Christmas card. <laughs> Isn't that great? I love that. Um, but it's going on my Christmas card tree, so I won't be re reusing this. Maybe next year I will. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much, Luana. All right. Those are uh, y'all's cards you sent to me. And I will, I'm going to start also putting a uh, I have my wall has older cards and it's filled up. So I need to take my older ones down and start putting up new ones. But anyways, um, let's uh, talk about today's fun fold. Uh, make sure I didn't forget anything. Nope. Okay. We're ready for the fun fold. This is an old Scandinavian uh, Christmas tree ornament. And um, in on the blog, um, let me put that up. All the measurements are going to be on the blog. I'm not going to put them at the bottom. It's a little too much to type, but that's okay. You, you don't need me to put them at the bottom. You need the pictures on the blog more. Um, and then let me pull out what it looks like. So these are called Scandinavian stars. Okay. And they're Christmas tree ornaments. And I don't, you've probably seen them, but you may not have known where they came from. Um, my great grandmother. So my daddy's grandmother, who he lived with for a while, Nana, um, she taught him how to make these and then he taught us how to make them. And we used to make these all the time. And then I've seen them on the Pinterest and I thought, oh my gosh, I know how to make those. And I thought, you know, I'm going to show you guys how to make these Scandinavian Christmas stars. Um, you may call them something else. I don't know. They kind of look like snowflakes also, not stars, but snowflakes, but they're so easy to make. Are you ready? Let me go back to my comments. Here we go. Yay. Oh, I've got another German with me. Rosemarie. Hello. The two of you guys. I love it. Y'all are in the afternoon. We're bright early in the morning. Okay. So what you're going to need is a piece of six by six. Where's my six by six? Here it is. Just a piece of six by six. That's all you need. But you do need a trimmer. 
So the very first thing you're going to do is you're going to take your paper and you are going to cut it into 12 half inch strips. Okay. It's 12 half inch strips. So we just start here and we just move over every half inch and we cut. Okay. Pretty simple. Five. Then four and a half. And four. Ooh. This is why it's so great to have a trimmer because you can just keep going down the line really quickly. Three. And then three and a half. Ooh, come on, get in there. And two. No, two and a half. Wait, am I right? No, yeah, that's right. Two. <laughs> and then one and a half. Oh. Come on, get off of there. I don't want to accidentally cut that one. Okay. And what I'm doing, I'm not depending on this top bar as much as I am depending on this line here to make sure my strips are um, even. I do have it bumped up there, but I'm checking because I'm like, it's bumped up there, but it's got a little gap right there. So I'm kind of moving it over. Always be careful. Don't trust the back of your trimmer to keep yourself um, square. It, um, it may throw you off if your trimmer is off a bit. Okay. But the lines should be good. All right. Now it's getting so small. I have to let go of it, go a little slower. And then this last piece, I have to lay it in there and just hope it doesn't move when I close. There we go. All right. So I've got 12 strips. We don't need our trimmer anymore. We need to divide our strips into two stacks, okay? We're going to make two different woven pieces, and then we will put them together. So let me, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, and you're going to want some kind of grid paper so that you stay square. Okay. Hey, Carlos. How are you? I love it. France and Sherry and Kim. So am I a hockey fan? Uh, not really. <laughs> I'm not, it's not that I'm not a sports fan. Um, but let's just say the guys watch sports and I craft. <laughs> I do like uh, baseball. I watch the Red Sox, but other than that, I'm not a big sports fan. But I will watch it. Okay. Good question, though. Um, where am I? Here I am. Okay. So I'm going to make a cross, and I want to make sure I'm right in the middle. Okay. So that's why I'm using grid paper. All right. And I actually probably should have grid paper that's got measurements on it. I don't want to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. Okay, that's right. Right there. And now I'm going to put a wee bit of glue right here. I'm going to zoom in just a wee bit. Okay. And I'm holding that still, as still as I can. Okay. And I'm going to lift it up and just put a dab of glue there. Not very much. You don't need much glue at all because this green glue is super sticky. Okay. And that moved a little bit. Okay. Whoops. Once you get this piece down, the rest of them just fall into place. You don't have to worry about it. It's just this first step. You need to make sure it's square. Whoops, there it goes. I twisted it. That's the other thing about our green glue. It's kind of slippery until it sets. Okay. Oh, um, Charlotte, what? you weren't talking to me. Who are you talking to? Oh, well, uh, I can't go back. I want to keep doing this. All right. So the rest, so the next, so this strip went on top. The next strip is going to go on bottom. Okay. So we're going to put that right there and just hold it in place and lift up this strip and put a wee bit of glue there. Okay. Oh, it squished out. Be careful not to put too much glue because you will, it'll come out and make your, that part sticky, but that's okay. And now this piece goes on top. Okay. Wait a minute, this side. 
sorry. Woo, almost messed up. <laughs> Don't go that way. Go the other way. Make sure you stay even. Okay. So this piece goes on the bottom also. Woo. All right. Just bump that up right there. Hold these pieces down while you kind of lift this piece up. Put a dab of glue. Hardly any. Okay. There we go. So it's not for little bitty children. It's a little to, it's a little bit hard to do for little bitty children, but your seven and eight year olds would love making these. Um, they're a lot of fun. And now we're going to weave the other way. So this strip went under and over. Let me show you. Okay. See how it went under and over. It went over these two. So this one's going to go the opposite. This is going to go under, over, under like that. And it's going to weave it and make like a little woven cross. We're going to make a little woven cross or plus sign. Okay. And once you get that in, make sure you're even because you do want, you don't want them to, to be apart. You want them to be even and then just pull up the strip and put a wee bit of glue there. Ah, I keep messing my papers up. Okay. Come on. Okay. And then this side, hopefully I don't move it again. There we go. All right, and once you've done that side, you turn it over and you do the other side just like it, okay? And, and then what you're going to do after you finish this, you're going to do it again with these strips, okay? You're going to make a second one, all right? Now, to save us time, I've already made a second one, okay? And, ah, messed it up again. That's all right. Okay. Like I said, make sure it's even on both sides. <clears throat> make sure it's all bumped up next to each other. All right. So you're going to make two of these. And I've got my other one right here. Okay. You're going to make two of them. And just put that out of the way. Now, what we're going to do now is we're going to take the corners and we're going to twist them and make what look like petals. Okay. So let me show you what I mean. It's going to twist and we're going to connect. We're going to square it up and make like this little petal right here. So that's pretty simple. Whoops. <laughs> so we're going to put a little dab of glue on the back here. Okay. That was pretty easy. Hold it for a sec. Don't want it to come apart. And over here. So this was one of our family traditions. What is uh, some of y'all's family traditions that you do with your children or grandchildren? I'm going to be teaching my grand, my, um, uh, my oldest granddaughter is seven years old now. So I'm showing her how to make these this year. Um, and of course we have a 11 year old grandson and he'd probably like to make them too, but he lives down in Austin and I don't see him as much. My, um, little seven year old lives right here next to me. But these are just, like I said, they're, they're a little tricky, but once you get that, the hang of it, they go together so easy and they're so pretty and you can use all kinds of paper, um, it doesn't even have to be a Christmas paper. It could just, you know, be colored paper. It could be white. Um, most of them are white. Um, the Scandinavians, um, if you all are familiar with Ikea, are very simple, clean and simple. Uh, no fancy stuff. I notice there's no glue right there. If you notice one of your strips isn't stuck down, go ahead and put a little glue in there. No, nope, I think I got too much. I sure did. Okay. And then my fingers get sticky. <laughs> okay, now that I've done these corners and I have this cross in the middle, guess what? We're going to do the same thing to this one. And of course, to save us time, I've already done it. <laughs> yes. So this, like I said, this is so much fun. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take these two pieces and we're going to interlock them. Okay, so 
what we're going to do is we are going to, how do I do this? Oh, this way. I was like, wait a minute, I almost forgot. So the petals go inside each other like that. Let me show you this way. Okay. So they just, they go on top of each other. And these flat, these ones that are sticking out, this, the plus signs that are sticking out, they get woven underneath. So that one goes under there. Okay. This one goes under here. Okay. And then these go, and you're going to glue them, but I'm going to go ahead and weave them all in there first, and then I'll glue. And that one goes there. And this one goes here. Once you start getting them woven in, it's they start staying together. There we go. There we go. Now, they are going to stick out, and you have a choice. You can glue them down and leave them sticking out like that, or you can trim them. I like trimming them. So, uh, and you also want to make sure that when you glue it, you kind of keep, keep it lined up. And I like doing both in the, the ones across from each other, whoops, the ones across from each other. So, um, you just lift it up and put a wee bit of glue there. Okay. And whoops, come here. Hold it for a sec. It does need to, like I said, this glue likes to uh, slip around. So you got to give it a sec to set. But, and that's why you don't want to use very much because it takes longer to set if there's more there. Okay. And then this piece and you just kind of turn it over to make sure you're lined up. Okay. And now I'll do these pieces. Have any of you made these before? Oh, I love it. Y'all are starting to sell traditions. Um, Kim says, we have a family tradition with our son. They're in college to watch It's a Wonderful Life. And in the last few years, we go to the Majestic Theater to see it on the big screen. Oh, wow. That is so cool. I didn't know Dallas did that. I know exactly where the Majestic Theater is. That's so we, we did a, a New Year's Eve party there when I was in college. My girlfriends, we all went there. That was fun. That is a great movie also. Just a, a good a good movie about what it means to be a, a giving, loving person. And even though you feel like, you know, poor George, he felt like he gave it all and in the end he lost, but he didn't lose. <laughs> it was love. Oh, just the best movie. Oh, so good. Okay, it's starting to... The pieces are starting to stay still now and stay where they're supposed to be once you get a few of them stuck down. Now that one wants to move, so I'm going to have to force it in place. Sometimes you have to force them in place. <laughs> okay, got that one, got that one. Am I missing? Yep, I'm missing these two. Okay, almost done. And then, like I said, you're going to trim or you can leave it. Doesn't matter. Um, like I said, I like to trim it, but... Um, and then also, and I'll go back and show you the ones that I've already made. You can put things in the middle. Like this is that um, kind, kindest gnomes paper. Um, you could put a cute little gnome here wishing you a Merry Christmas or uh, uh, let it snow, <laughs> whatever you want to do. All right. So now we've got that and that's all there is to it. You've pretty much finished. Where are my snips? Here they are. Now you just use the... Um, the paper there that those as your guide to just trim them off. Oh, I'm a little shaky this morning. There we go. And of course there's glue on it. So it's going to get sticky. <laughs> there we go. Ah, Okay, I really got to quit shaking. I know you all, um, my shaking is from my thyroid. I definitely have a feeling my thyroid meds are out of whack because I've been shaking a lot lately. But that's just life with autoimmune diseases. Lovely. Thank goodness for doctors and medicine, right? <laughs> go.
almost finished. Last one. Now, uh, to hang this ornament, you'll want a tiny hole punch. Um, and if you don't have one, they have them in craft supply stores. This is an eighth of an inch. It's perfect for doing hanging um, things, <laughs> the hanging things. All right, where do I want to go? Here we go. Make sure I know where I'm making my hole. Okay, that looks good. There we go. Perfect. And we have this pretty gold and silver twine. I'm going to use the silver. Just grab yourself a little twine. And um, there we go. And then I just wrap it around my finger and tie it. And you have yourself a Scandinavian star or Scandinavian snowflake, whatever you want to call it. Let me zoom out a little bit and let me show you my other ones if you missed the beginning. So I have this one and I put a snowflake on it. And then on the back, I put um, May Your Season Sparkle with some um, glimmer paper back there. So I have this one. And then I made this red and green one. And I put a snowflake in the center right there. And then on the back, our friendship is one of a kind like snowflakes. Um, anyways, these are so fun to make. Um, I hope you'll try these with your kids, with your grandchildren. Like I said, it's just a fun tradition. It's, um, they're called Scandinavian stars and that's about it for today. Um, all of the measurements are over on the blog. I've already started the blog piece. So yes. And then also, um, I'm going to send it to the emails. So you'll have the video replay in your email this afternoon. Uh, remember, no fun fold next Friday or the next Friday. So two Fridays, no fun folds. And then I'll be back the 30th of December. OK, um, you all have a blessed weekend. Try to stay warm. Those of you up north, down south, we're uh, in the 70s in the afternoon right now. We haven't gotten our cold front again yet. <laughs> so Oh, you're so awesome. Thanks again, you guys. Um, let me scroll real quick, make sure I didn't miss any. Oh, Sherry loves stringing popcorn and cranberries. Yes, that is one of my favorites too. Oh my gosh. Definitely got to string popcorn every year. Love that. Oh, you started Elf on a Shelf, Tony. So my sister's daughter is a senior in high school. This is her last real Christmas at home. So they're doing Elf, her and her husband are doing Elf on a Shelf, and they are coming up with some really funny things to do with their Elf with, uh, with my niece. It's hilarious. Oh, my gosh. Making cookies. Yep. I'm going to be decorating Christmas cookies with my grands later this week. Oh, I love traditions. Y'all are awesome. Thank you again. Have a blessed weekend. Bye-bye. <laughs>